In West Nile, thousands of investors have been encouraged to invest in Arua, as the district is a good place for investment. But men have been discouraged by the growing apprehension of insecurity in the area. The most dangerous spots include Barifa Forest, Osimba Coast at Dadamu and Ondu Paraka on Drama Chaku Road leading to the Diara Congo. In recent months, there has been a rising tide of lawlessness in the district dominated by gangs. The wave of attacks are part of the security puzzle that has contributed to Arua's fading image. We set off from Kampala, a six-hour drive to Arua in search of these gangs, hoping that they will share some insights on why it is all happening. We made some contacts and several attempts later, the ringleaders of these gangs agreed to meet us, but in a location determined by them and only at night. Mm -hmm. Most members of these criminal gangs were found to be Ugandan youths who had previously been employed in South Sudan but have since returned home due to the security situation in South Sudan. When they came back to Arua, they could have no work to do. There is no work to do. Because I had, uh, I, there was no hope for me to go ahead. So I needed to survive here in the town. It's coming to midnight and the meeting is on. The gangs are all here and the conversation begins. What are the push factor to what you guys do? The reason you have no work to do. Thank you. If you have something to do, you can't steal someone's property. Now that there are no jobs for you, how do you survive? We have, we have many styles of uh, survival. How do you survive? Yeah, others they, they can survive by pickpocketing and so on. There are so many things. Others they do their own, their own stuff to get them money, but all in all, there is no a clear base for the youth in Arua. The youths, the large number of these youths here who are unemployed and they have no skills, but they also always believe in a business, but it is a petty, petty, petty business. One would wonder for the pushing factors for this lawlessness. They use us like condoms. You understand? They, after using you, after using the youth, the group, they just drop you. Government promising us every time we have tied with it. Police is overwhelmed now. The, the youths are everywhere. They are now very volatile. Everywhere you get full calls during the night here and there, but the police is overstressed. The fact that these youths are dubbed as gangs, they claim that their rights are never respected. They torture you, they get off your shirt and your shoes, they move it all night. And I don't know, they say born is for free, but it's not in Arua. Maybe in other region. But in Arua, there is no police born for free. Talking to the DPC, Dennis Ochama, he accepts the challenge, but equally blames this on a number of factors. First of all, these groups are sparsely populated. I mean, they are sparsely distributed in most of the regions. I mean, most of the divisions of the district. Uh, the most notable area is where these people are, are quite... Uh, 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 they manifest themselves a lot is the division of Oli. The allegations about military detention seem to be more amplified on the ground than expected. To this conversation, the local leaders like the RDC have a totally different opinion about the gangs. Right now, if they find us here, they don't take us to the police. They take in the police afterwards. At times they can leave from where you are, from the military barracks, and you come home when you're already tortured. Cells? Oh, we don't have prisons where we can arrest uh, those offenders. The moment we do a joint patrol with police, we arrest them, we hand them over to police. For us, we don't have anywhere where we keep suspects. We have a very big challenge here. This forest of ours here, the Barifa Forest, the Central Forest Exactly, Reserve here. People, are, there's outcry that this thing place will be degazated because the criminals have put it as a safe haven. Given that many of the youth claimed that it was only Brian White who understood their plight, we went to meet him about the same issue, and this is what he makes of the youths in Arua. Leaders should do, they should come back down to the ground. Because for them, they, their own language, in their own language, is arresting, tear gassing. That is that isn't the option to this boy. Now that all seems to be failing, what is the way forward? But when you 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 apply force on them, you are spoiling the whole mood. Andrew Chamagero, NTV, we